Okay, guys, so in tonight's Warren Meets Matt, um, I'm going to do something just a little bit different. So this is a mat from Geek Villain. You can find them at geekvillain.co.uk. This is a fabric mat, which is um, uh, printed on felt. Um, now, Geek Villain reached out to us and sent me a sample um, of a mat um, a while ago, and I took the opportunity to, to try it out and to feed back to them. So they've taken on board uh, some of my some of my thoughts and suggestions on that, and this is the result, okay? So it's a six by four mat, but um, it's sized slightly over six by four, and I'll explain to you why in a minute. It's printed in a really nice resolution, um, so you can see some of the grass details here. This particular one is called the El Alamein uh, mat. So as you can see, it's quite scrubby with a, a track, a dirt track running through it. And it's printed on a, on a fairly, um, a fairly dense um, felt kind of a, a, kind of a material. Now the beauty of it is um, that, um, I don't really need to measure it because I know that it is uh, uh, over six by four because it, it needs at least about an inch or so across. The track itself is about two and a half inches across. And from that side, it's 23 inches. It's on a fairly heavy material. The beauty of this material is when, it, when you get it, it comes all folded up like that. But as soon as you put it down, it just goes beautifully flat, just as such. There's no creases or anything that I can see um, on that that would uh, that, that give it away. Let's talk about terrain. So I have a few hills. Now this is where these kinds of mats really shine, okay? So you could, if you wanted, put your terrain down like that. However, you could grab yourself some polystyrene and a knife and carve it up and not worry about all this extra detail and instead put the, the hills underneath. So let's just try that to see how this will work. Because that, it for me, is where these mats really come to life. So let me just put that down, okay, and then just put give it a go. And this is why um, I fed back to them about oversizing the mat. Check that out. Now you have these beautiful hills and gradients actually built in to the mat itself. And because it is slightly overscaled, you still end up with a full six by four playing area. So, if you want to try and, you know, and create something that has, you know, there's nice kind of contours and curvatures, like it just, it just works. It just works really, really well. And I, I think, I think it's lovely. I think it really takes a mat like this and just brings it to life. This starts to look like, it's a sense of realism you would not normally get from the likes of a, a PVC mat, or even one of the the one of the kind of the neoprene mats. This is this is something you can only do with mats of this kind and mats of this particular kind of material. So that is the El Alamein mat. Okay, give me two seconds. I'm going to fold it up. I'm going to leave the hills in place. And I'm going to throw on another mat called the Winter Is Coming mat. And that's this one. So let's check this out and see how it looks with the same hills in the same location. So this is it folded straight out of the bag. Okay, so let me get it. Okay, and a quick layout to tidy this bad boy up. And here we go. Lay it down nice and flat. Give it a quick rub just to get the contours and all in place. 
there. And once again, it just takes, it just takes those hills and contours and it just brings it to life. I, I, I just really, really like it. And all it takes is a wee rub of the hand and any of that creasing that you might have seen just goes away. Love it. Absolutely love it. One of the other things I love about this, storage. So, so easy to store. You get two or three of these, stick them in a drawer, bam. You're done. Um, with the, the neoprene mats, although they are my favorite, and probably still are my favorite, they are taking up just a little bit more storage. But hey, compared to the gaming tables that we used to build, believe me, none of these things take, take up a lot of storage, but if you are tight on space, I highly recommend this. So that is the battle mats from Geek Villain. Dot co dot UK.